Hello, I'm Madeline Durham, Chief Executive of Minster Trust, and I'm doing this short video to say a massive thank you to all of you who have supported us throughout this terrible pandemic. Right at the start of this pandemic, we didn't know what we were facing, and yet you as our community of supporters came together and gave us a lot of money that enabled us to continue to function and support well over 150 people throughout this really difficult period. Your money has enabled us to provide food for individuals, to help people get medicines, to collect shopping on behalf of other people, to provide some food for the local community. We've done an online day service so those people who weren't able to come into our day opportunities could still feel connected to Minstead Trust and an online theatre um, through our Hanger Farm Community Theatre. We've been able to run virtual stage at Hanger Farm Arts Centre. You've helped us to feed our animals. You've helped us to buy PPE and a lot of hand sanitizer. <laughs> at Fursey Gardens, your support has enabled us to reopen and welcome the public back and that has made such a big difference to the people we support who have been working in the gardens and the plant nursery over this period of time. You enabled us to open up a new one-way system around the garden to have an online booking system and we thank you very much for those of you that have come into the gardens and have continued to donate and spend your money with us. It's really very valued. We've also had to spend some money on some of our back office functions because we had to, to send a lot of people working from home. We've had to increase our IT system and your money has helped us to do that. So from me to you, I want to say a massive thank you for everything that you've done. But we're not yet out of the woods. We don't know what is heading our way in the autumn. We're beginning to open up our day opportunities and welcoming people back. And we've continued to provide support to people in both residential and supported living. Now, the important thing is to focus on people's welfare and well-being. It's been a really difficult time for everybody through this pandemic, and that is no different for people with learning disabilities. You've probably heard some of the stories of the individuals who haven't been able to see their families during this time. And now we need to focus on how we can support them best as we head into the next phase of the pandemic. So thank you for your support so far, and we hope that you'll continue to support us over the next few months. Thank you so much.